In this video, we will show how to replace the following parts that are included in this Vizio E480I-B2 TV repair kit. The parts included are the main board, the power supply board, the TCON board, and the LED driver board. It is recommended to take pictures during the repair process to use as a reference point. Be sure your TV is unplugged. I have already removed the back cover, which is the smaller piece of plastic on the back of the TV. This allows us access to the boards that we want to replace. The first board I am going to replace is the main board. I will disconnect all of the cables that are connected to the board. I will remove the screws that secure the board to the chassis and then lift the board from the chassis. Install the replacement board and secure it to the chassis with the screws. Reconnect all of the cables. The next board I am going to replace is the TCON board. When disconnecting the ribbon cables, you will need to flip up the tab and then gently remove them. I will remove the screws that secure the board to the chassis and then lift the board from the chassis. Install the replacement board and secure it to the chassis with the screws. Reconnect all of the cables. The next board I am going to replace is the LED driver board. I will disconnect all of the cables that are connected to the board. I will remove the screws that secure the board to the chassis and then lift the board from the chassis. Be careful when disconnecting this board from the power supply as you do not want to bend the pins. If you are concerned about bending the pins or breaking the board, 
then you could remove both boards and then disconnect them after removing them. Install the replacement board and secure it to the chassis with the screws. Reconnect all of the cables. The next board I'm going to replace is the power supply board. I will disconnect all of the cables that are connected to the board. I will remove the screws that secure the board to the chassis and then lift the board from the chassis. Once again, be careful so you do not bend the pins at this connection. Install the replacement board and secure it to the chassis with the screws. Reconnect all of the cables. 